Hey, what's good everyone? Look, last man here. Got a request to do a glass cleaning video, so I'm going to clean the boards here. Username Brian, I forget your last name, sorry, but Brian mentioned how about a glass cleaning video. So I'm going to do a video here on how to clean the glass, how to clean the boards, at least how I do it. And not only how to generally clean the glass, I guess, but how I get the puck marks off. At least how I get the puck marks off. I'll show you a couple different things that I've used in the past and what I've settled on. And we're kind of low budget here. You probably could tell that already. So we don't really have any fancy equipment or anything. We'll show you right here how to clean these puck marks off. At least how I do it. And go ahead and have you guys comment below too how you guys do it because... The more information we throw out there, the better it is for all of us. So let's go ahead and get everything set up and we'll get at it. All right, in the long past, I used a solvent-based cleaner to clean the boards. To be honest, we don't really clean the white boards. It's kind of uh, something I should do, but never did. That's something that you really need a machine to do. But this stuff right here is the solvent that you'd use to get pucks off. It's called puck off, puck remover. I don't know, I don't think Arena Systems even a company anymore, but anyway, there is, is solvent based chemicals you could use to get puck marks off your boards or off your glass. But what I've been using lately are these magic erasers. What you do is you dip them in water. I try to use hot water as hot as you can stand it. And amazingly enough, the pucks kind of come right off. So that's where you come through with your window cleaner, a chamois, and a, and a squeegee. See? And you clean it off. So you can tell that this one spot right there that I did, it's a little wet. But it doesn't do a half bad a job, I don't think. So let me go ahead and set this up on the camera, and I'll do a little time lapse of me cleaning the glass right here. Well, there's a the glass, nice and clean, got all the puck marks off, went through with the chamois, the spray bottle, the squeegee, the towel, the whole nine yards, we got all the boards clean. Now, most of the action, most of the puck marks were behind the goals on this side and that side, and some along the corners here, but most of your cleaning with the pucks are kind of behind the goals right here. Let's take a look at this end over right here. I got all the puck marks off the glass behind the goal here, that's where most of them are, and I work my way out to each side. Not looking too bad, looks much brighter over here. There's a few spots I couldn't get where kind of were scratches in the glass from helmets, metal and helmets, metal and gear and skates and stuff like that. Overall, it's looking pretty good. The spectator is not gonna have to stare through the puck marks on the glass, that's pretty good. One thing about the tempered glass versus this plastic right here, I guess first thing, why we have the plastic on this door right here, because if you had tempered glass on this door, it'd be too heavy, it'd be a big load on the hinge and stuff. So that's why they threw plastic on the door versus tempered, tempered's much heavier. But the plastic here, much harder to clean, as well as the pucks really rub on here more. I think that since it's a little bit more porous, it's really hard to get the puck marks off and they tend to soak in there a little bit more, I guess, or rub in there a little bit more than the tempered glass. The tempered glass, much easier to clean, as well as it doesn't really mark up as easy. As you can tell up there, there's still quite a bit. I still got a hit. Uh, I got about as high as I, you know, as someone would typically see but I'm gonna go through and get a ladder and get the rest of that so it looks nice and shiny another thing too as far as cleaning the glass I went through with the squeegee the chamois the towel with some glass cleaner got all the boards clean all the way around and a lot of the the puck marks really were on the back side behind the goals and some in the corners I still got to really get the puck marks off this side right here I really more focused behind the nets than along the straightaways right there and you know behind the far goal right there because behind the goals is really where you get a lot of puck marks and and a little bit along the corners too you get a lot of puck marks as far as the boards go i think that's a different video i'll touch that on another video because i think that's that's something that takes a machine and obviously you, you could tell we really haven't done it here the magic racer will take it off but you're not you're not doing this by hand you're gonna you need some kind of buffing tool and again that's a whole different video and stuff I love to do that. Maybe I could talk about getting that tool here and a big buffer, as well as making, there's a couple of videos I saw where some guy made a cart, or he kind of, anyway, different video, another time. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope you learned something. And like the local ice man says, stay cool.